With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi students, here the question is, in natural habitat has enough resources to support maximum possible beyond which no further good is possible. Characteristics features of natural selection is known as first option biotic potential, carrying capacity, then natural selection and homeostasis. So first we have to understand this term, then we try to relate it with that uh, with the natural habitats and how it will be related to the maximum number of living organisms. So biotic potential, the first term, it is especially described by the unrestricted growth of a population which has resulted in the maximum growth of that potential or growth of that population. Biotic potential is the highest possible vital index of a species. Therefore, when the species has its highest birth rate and lowest mortality rate on that time, it is known as the biotic potential. So that the biotic potential stems, it is related to as the maximum number of the population. or it can be considered as the highest birth rate. So when the birth rate is more and the mortality rate is low, so that the terms or that the incidence is known as the, especially the vital index of the species, on that will be the terms is known as a biotic potential. Now the next term which is there that is the carrying capacity. So carrying capacity it can be defined as the species ever range population. So the carrying capacity means how much populations will be there. In particular area so it is the average population size of a particular habitat it is also very much important you know that because the species population size is limited by some environmental factors and what are that factors adequate food then shelter, water, and the mates. So all these environmental factors will try to uh, control the population of that particular area. If these things or if these particular factors are not met, so the population will decrease. So like that way, the carrying capacity also very important for the species control. Now the third term which is given there, natural selection. So this natural selection, that means it is a process in which an organism adapt to its environment through some selectively reproducing changes in its genotype. When the gene sequences has changed over a period of time for the evolution and mean the evolution plays a very important role in this natural selection. It was first uh, the terms used by the Charles Darwin. He has described the terms as a natural selection that means when the gene sequences change for over a period of time 
and that will selected by the nature and that the offspring will go moves or move forwards and they will produce a new genera new generation that the things are known as the natural selection next the term here is the homeostasis so homeostasis it is also in a part of biology it is the state of a steady internal physical and chemical condition which is maintained by the living system so this is the condition of optimal functioning for the organism and it includes many variable like body temperature fluid balance and um, the persistence and the preset limits so all these things are regulated by this so homeostasis is a particularly the state of the internal or the physical chemical condition and it is also maintained by the living system but in our question it was given in the natural habitat has enough resources to support a maximum possible numbers and where the further growth is not possible so that the characteristic feature of nature is known as a biotic potential because we had seen here it will controls by the highest birth that means the maximum number of possibility is be done by biotic potential thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today